Hey, what's going on guys? It's GCP here playing some Modern Warfare Remastered. Actually managed to do really well in this game on a shipment chaotic crazy map that it is. I was using the AK-47 with the grenade launcher. Got a super kill, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that all in the background. What I wanted to talk to you guys about, and this is really going to be a short video, um, is about boots on the ground in 2017. Now we don't know for sure if it's going to be boots on the ground, but all indications are pointing towards it being boots on the ground. And if that is the case, will people be playing it? Now, I'm not going to go into speculation on Call of Duty 2017, Call of Duty 2018. No, 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 no. It's not about that. I'm not one of these channels who has no content to talk about or I don't live in the now. Um, I definitely do. So that's why I don't, you know, speculate about new Call of Duty games like a year ahead of time when the new one is out. I live in the present time, okay? So I'm enjoying Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, but here's the thing. The analysis from what I've heard from other videos out there is that will, the question rather, is will people buy the new Call of Duty if it's boots on the ground and will they stay playing it? Will the numbers be there? Because a lot of people are saying that even if Call of Duty reverts back to boots on the ground in 2017, people are not going to play because they're so used to the advanced movements from Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and now with Infinite Warfare. Are people going to be able to adjust back to boots on the ground? And they make a good point. They say that look at the numbers from Black Ops 1 and look at the numbers because Black Ops 1 is now backwards compatible, at least on the Xbox. And look at Modern Warfare Remastered. It's boots on the ground. Both of the games are boots on the ground, but the numbers aren't there. People aren't playing them. Why? Here's my counter argument to that. These are old games, and old games, no matter how good they are, and these are great games, it's not like Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare Remastered are bad games, because they're not, they're instant classics, but they're old games, people have seen all the perks, people have seen all the weapons, they've seen all the attachments, and score streaks or kill streaks. people want new, people want to see new, so if the next Call of Duty game, if it is indeed boots on the ground, people will buy it and the numbers will be there, because it's a new game, they will have new perks, new attachments, score streaks, kill streaks, and weapons. New story, if anybody really cares about that. But again, the emphasis is on the new. Because people have seen these past games already, so nothing's new from them. People will buy and people will play the new Call of Duty in 2017 because it is new. It will be a new boots on the ground. It won't be an old one, it will be a new one. That's basically kind of my analysis and thoughts on it. Have any thoughts of your own? Leave it down in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is GCP and I am signing off.